Us out? No, you don't. You don't cowardice that out. When you when you want to go live, you go live even when you're disfigured and it looks like you got punched in the eye. Oh, yes, you do. You do not back down. You do not back down by a little something, a little makeup is needed, or maybe plastic surgery. Hello, Zach. Hello, Mark. Hello, Taylor Swift. Hello, Rick. <laughs> I'm laughing with me at my eye. I can't believe how disfigured I look. Hello, Essie Gill. Hello again, Rickard. Rick. Hello, Julie Flanagan. I loved your uh, new uh, uh, profile picture. Thank you for posting it. Uh, Rick is down with cup two. I'm somewhere in the middle of pot two, Rick. While you are so clean cut, you look so ha handsome. Well, I appreciate that, Zach. Zero zippins. Uh, I could do a toothpaste commercial. Oh my gosh, the flattery will get you anywhere. Uh, yes, they are. And it's a real eye too, but I appreciate we shouldn't uh, focus on the negative. I should just absorb all the warm fuzzies that Zach Zero Zippins is giving me. Julie Flanagan, thank you for the rose. And uh, uh, thank you all for joining on this Christmas Eve. Uh, my name is Ken Tracy. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning to you. And this is a super duper special uh, uh, Thoughts from the Gym. It's a Christmas Eve edition. Oh, yes, it's a Christmas Eve edition. It's a show I started. Oh, I love telling the stories, the spinning the, I don't know, saying the lore or spinning a yarn or telling the story. Or My story grows more huge <laughs> in every retelling. But I started this show, Thoughts from the Gym, oh, over four months ago, four months and a week ago. And I was thinking about that as I was finishing up my workout. Uh, thank you for following the live creator, Kermit the Frog. Uh, I was thinking about that as uh, I was finishing up my workout today. That I was kind of proud of myself uh, just for still being here and still coming to the gym uh, four months after I joined. I think it's fairly easy to join, uh, go out and work out real intensely at the beginning but kind of fizzle out and lose your steam. And honestly, when I first joined, I was going almost every day because I was so it felt so good. Uh, but I've gotten down to a more realistic uh, uh, frequency, I guess, of about three times a week. And it feels still feels great. And again, I felt some pride as I was finishing up my shower and getting done with my workout today. Uh, that I'm still here and I've been working out steadily, you know, a few times a week for four months. And uh, uh, again, I think habits make the man, the woman, and the child. And uh, I promise you, working out is a, uh, one of those good ones. I was talking to my wife this morning and telling her our plans and she's still got some last minute Christmas stuff to do. And I was saying, hey, it's not a must, but I know my day would feel a little bit better uh, if I got a workout in. Uh, so here I am, and I just finished it up, and I just thought about uh, hopping on and going uh, live with you for a minute and uh, just sharing some thoughts. Uh, somebody asked if where I am, they said it's, oh, Kate asked, it's overcast where I am. Uh, I live in Naperville, Illinois, which is uh, just west of Chicago. Hello, Miss Hampton. Uh, Kermit the Frog is asking if I like my jacket. I uh, like it a lot. Uh, nothing too too fancy, uh, and it's not that heavy. Honestly, you wouldn't want to wear it if it was real cold out, but it's kind of nice, and when it's really cold out, I will wear it as an undercoat to some of my heavier coats, so I do like this coat a lot. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Go buy yourself one. I don't know how much it costs or what have you. I should put it on the link to my bio. Uh, great high school science program there in Naperville, at least last time you checked. I would not doubt that at all. Uh, my oldest stepson just started going to uh, Naperville Central High School, or at least this fall he did, and we are blown away 
uh, with the facility, the schools, the services that the Naperville schools offer. And one of the things Naperville's known for is its great school system, supposedly one of the best in the state. And uh, yeah, no, we're fortunate to have our kids going there. Uh, I live with uh, three of my stepchildren and two of my little babies, and I have two little girls, uh, not little girls, they're big girls now, uh, that live about 10 miles away with their mama. Hello, Jimmy. But anyway, again, this is Thoughts from the Gym. Uh, the thought of the day is proud that I've made it this far, this far, four months and a week. And uh, uh, no great physical um reports for you. But I think one of the keys to me making it and hanging in there and is being flexible and being kind and being gentle with myself. There were times I was doing various exercises that were hurting, not a good sort of hurt, a bad sort of hurt. And I could have easily gotten dejected and uh, stopped going and canceled my membership. But I kind of rolled or rolled with the flow, if you will and uh, change what I was doing a little bit. I've added some lat pulls, some row machines, and uh, still doing bench and curl and core and some stretching. And again, no great goals other than to feel a little better every day. And when I was talking to my wife this morning, I told her, you know, I know I'll feel a little better if I go, and I do. I uh, was surprised how crowded the gym was today. Again, it's Christmas Eve and it closes at 12, so it's only a half day. Uh, maybe a lot of people just are trying to get their workout in uh, before the festivities. Uh, but again, it was fairly crowded. Uh, random thought. I think the world's a little less friendly. I had my earbuds in uh, and uh, everybody did pretty much at the gym. And I was asking a young fellow who wanted to work it or if I could work in with him on the lap pull machine. And we both had our earbuds in and it felt funny trying to communicate with a somebody else. I think the world kind of walks around with barriers up in ways that they probably didn't 30 years ago before, I don't know, cell phones and earbuds and what have you. And uh, it, again, just felt a little odd even trying to make conversation through our earbuds and make eye contact with the guy. Uh, but we did and we worked it out and got our workouts in and hopefully he has a Merry Christmas and I know I'm going to have a Merry uh, Christmas as well. So uh, I just wanted to hop on and say Merry Christmas Eve to you. I so appreciate you guys for joining. Uh, I'm going to have a sip of coffee before I forget. Mm. Oh, Should have had one before I went live today because I was really itching for it. It's the pumpkin spice. I'm going to stop by Starbucks, I'll tell you. I had a buddy stop by yesterday and buy me a couple bags of coffee. He said, what is coffee with Ken without coffee? And he bought me a pound bag of Sumatra and a pound of the Yukon, which I've never had. I'm going to have to swing into the Starbucks in a few minutes and have them grind it for me because we're out of coffee at home. And uh, looking forward to trying, uh, I don't know, some of this Yukon and drinking a lot of the Sumatra because I drink a lot of that. Um. But anyway, it's Sunday. It's uh, Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are doing great. I uh, would love to see a little snowfall, but I don't think it's in the cards for us here. Uh, it's obviously not today. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I uh, hope you've had a great weekend so far. You've had a great, great year. And because uh, the year's almost up. Coming in on New Year's. Wow. <laughs> but uh, and I hope you uh, have had more days where you're smiling than crying. I know I've had my fair share of days when I've done both. Uh, but again, I think it's okay to feel your emotions and experience your emotions because uh, that's what I am and who I am and what have you. So uh, I appreciate you all for joining today and uh, following along in my story. And again, I uh, uh, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I uh, hope you follow my page. Hope you're feeling good, loving yourself, forgiving yourself. And uh, as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, hey. There we go.